you are probably making one of the biggest cybersecurity beginner mistakes without even realizing it, the wrong way to learn skills. You are stuck in a cycle of endless tutorials, scattered courses, and random certifications, but nothing is clicking. You feel overwhelmed, frustrated, and like you are never going to figure this out. Well, here is the truth. It's not your fault. You have been learning the wrong way, and I'm about to show you how to finally break free from the mess and start making real progress. Let's fix this. So here is what nobody tells you when you are starting out. Learning cybersecurity is not about collecting random knowledge. It's about building skills with a purpose. When I first started, I was bouncing between penetration testing, malware analysis, network security, SOC operations, cloud security, literally everything. I was watching every tutorial I could find, downloading every course, and thinking I was making progress. But here is the thing. I was not actually learning anything. I was just drowning in information, overwhelmed and frustrated, and I was inches close to giving up. But then I realized something that changed everything. The problem wasn't me. It was the way I was learning. And if you are feeling the same way, stuck, frustrated, overwhelmed, you need to hear this. And if you want the exact roadmap I used to turn everything around, comment roadmap below. I have put together a step-by-step -step guide to show you how to master cybersecurity without wasting months or even years going in circles. Let's break down why you're struggling and how to fix it. Mistake 1. Learning without purpose. If you are like most beginners, you are learning from a thousand different sources, YouTube tutorials, blog posts, courses all at once and you think you are building knowledge. But here's the truth. Learning without purpose is like collecting puzzle pieces without knowing what the final picture looks like. I wasted months doing exactly that. Downloading every course I could find, watching every tutorial I came across, thinking I was making progress. But when I tried to actually apply what I learned, nothing clicked. Here is the solution. Stop learning randomly. Focus on one thing at a time. Build your skills in a logical order. Here's where you start. Learn networking fundamentals. Understand how devices communicate. Learn about IP addresses, DNS, protocols, routing. And then Linux and Windows basics. Get comfortable with the command line, file systems, and basic scripting. Next, learn Python or Bash. Automate simple tasks and then understand how attacks work, how to defend systems, encryption, system hardening. But here's the thing. You can't just listen to this and move on. You have to take action. Right now, write down your learning focus for the next 30 days. Just one thing you're going to master before moving on to the next. And then, stick to it like your progress depends on it. Because it does. Mistake 2. Overloading yourself with tools. Let me guess. You're trying to learn Nmap, Burp Suite, Metasploit, Wireshark, Nessus, John the Ripper, and a hundred other tools, all at once. I did the exact same thing, and it left me confused, overwhelmed, and feeling like a complete failure. Here's the truth. Tools are only valuable if you actually understand how to use them, and more importantly, why you're using them. Stick to the tools that match your learning path. If you're focusing on penetration testing, start with Nmap, Burp Suite, Metasploit. If you're aiming for network security, learn Wireshark, Firewalls, IDS, IPS. Pick one tool to learn this week. Focus on mastering it before moving on to the next. Mistake 3. Copying someone else's path. How many times have you watched a video titled How to Become a Cybersecurity Expert? Or How to Learn Penetration Testing Fast? I've been there. Trying to follow other people's learning paths, thinking that if it worked for them, it would work for me. But here's the thing. Your journey is yours. What works for someone else might not work for you. And if you're just copying someone else's roadmap, you're missing out on building your own. Build a roadmap that fits your strengths and weaknesses. Ask yourself, what do you actually want to do? Penetration testing? SOC analysis? Cloud security? Write down your goal and make a plan that actually fits your strengths and interests. Mistake 4. Learning without doing. Here's a brutal truth. Watching tutorials is not learning. Reading articles is not learning. Learning happens when you apply what you've learned. And if you're not doing that, you're just collecting information without building skill. Set up your own labs. 
Use platforms like TryHackMe, HackTheBox, or RangeForce. Practice in real environments. Break things. Fix them. Learn from your mistakes. Spend 80% of your learning time practicing and only 20% consuming content. Mistake 5. Not having a roadmap. You need a plan. A real, structured, step-by-step -step plan that shows you what to learn, in what order, and how to actually apply it. And if you don't have that, you're just spinning your wheels. Build a roadmap based on your goals, not someone else's. Comment roadmap below and I'll send you a complete guide to building your own cybersecurity learning path. Now you have two choices. You can keep struggling, feeling frustrated, and spinning your wheels. Or you can follow a real roadmap and actually make progress. And if you're ready to stop wasting time and start building real skills, comment roadmap below. The only thing standing between you and mastering cybersecurity is a plan. And now you have one. But we're not done yet. In the next video, I'm going to show you why most beginners waste time and money chasing certifications that don't even matter. And if you've been stacking up certs just to look good on a resume, you're making a huge mistake. Don't miss it.